For this lesson, we are to discuss problem solving and reasoning and under this, inductive and deductive reasoning. At the end of this lesson, you should define inductive reasoning, define deductive reasoning, and compare and contrast inductive and deductive reasoning through the activities that we are to do. First, we define inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is drawing a general conclusion from a repeated observation or limited sets of observations of specific examples. From here also, we are, from a given data, we draw conclusions simply from specific case to general case. Now, when we talk about conclusion, the conclusion drawn using inductive reasoning is what we call conjecture. And we have to remember that there is what we call counterexample, wherein it's a statement. A statement is a true statement, provided that it is true in all cases. So it means it only takes one example to prove the conjecture is false. We move on with examples for inductive reasoning. First, we have the statement, two is an even number. Next, 12 is an even number. Then 22 is an even number. Observing the statements given, we can generalize that, therefore, all number ending with two are even numbers. Now this part, therefore, all number ending with two are even numbers is what we call the conclusion or conjecture. Another example. Mark is a science teacher. Mark is bald. So we can provide now our conclusion. Therefore, all science teachers are bald. So you have to um, remember that um, we simply draw from specific case to general case when we talk about inductive reasoning. Now let's move on to deductive reasoning. Now, deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is drawing general to specific examples or simply general case to specific case. Now, we start with a general statement or hypothesis, then examines to reach a specific conclusion based on the statements given. For instance, all birds have feathers. So this is a general statement. Then we can have a specific statement after this. Quails are birds. So from here, we can, um, we can say or we can draw our conclusion, the specific conclusion as, therefore, quails have feathers. Example four, let's say Anna is sick. Now, since Anna is sick, there is a specific thing that will happen after this in which if Anna is sick, she won't be able to go to school. Now, based on the two statements, we can provide now our conclusion. Therefore, Anna will, won't be able to go to school. Now, with the mentioned, um, with the given examples for inductive and deductive reasoning, you have to you have to remember that if we are talking about inductive reasoning, it is simply from specific case to general case, while for deductive reasoning, we are um, to draw this reasoning from general case to specific case. And you have to take note that logical reasoning may be valid, but not necessarily true.